Hi, this is Happy Bird from happybirdsglitternest.blogspot.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this super lightweight and very easy little mitten. Now I do have a pattern for you and it will be down below in the show more description box as well as on my blog and you can just click on the link and print it out. Now I love these because it's very thin as you can see so you can place this into a Christmas card as an ornament. You can hang a little hook right here and just hang it off your tree. You can use these um, as little clips like a mitten clip. You can add a very small little uh, clothespin to the back and clip this onto your packages or your gift bags at the top. Um, you can turn these into little pins to wear by hot gluing a little, a little pen back here with E6000. There's just a lot of different things that you can do with this. And like I said, it's extremely easy and um, fairly quick to put together. So with that said, we'll move on to um, how to put this all together. But before I do that, I'd like to invite you to my friend Crafty's YouTube channel and she goes by Crafty, C-R-A-F-T-I-E, and I'll put her link in the show more description box as well. She has a lot of wonderful videos, and they're very, very cute. So um, go ahead and give her a, a, a look, and I think you'll enjoy her. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is stiff white felt. And you can buy it at Michael's or um, Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure if Joann's has this or not. Make sure it's the non-adhesive kind. You don't want any adhesive on this at all. Okay, and I also made a little mitten pattern for you to print. So I'll go ahead and put the link to this in the show more uh, description box below this video, as well as on my blog. And so what you're going to do, you can do this a couple of ways. When you cut out your pattern, you can trace this onto a piece of um, thin cardboard, like a cereal box, and then just take that uh, cardboard and trace it directly onto the, um, the white stiff felt with a mechanical pencil and then cut it out. Or you can just take a small piece of double-sided tape and just stick it on the back and then onto this and then cut around it. I highly suggest using your detail scissors when you do the cutting. Um, the little pointy tips will help you get into the little corners as you go around this area. So with that said, I'll go ahead and cut this out and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've cut this out. So let me take this off, and it looks like this. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some triple thick. I bought this from Amazon. It's the eight ounce jar. Now you can use other things besides triple thick. You could use glossy accents um, if you wanted to, or um, Mod Podge, Dimensional Magic, any of those. Uh, glossy resin type glosses. Okay, so um, I'm going to pull up my camera just a little bit. So I'm going to take my little makeup brush that I bought from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to put a little bit in this cup here. Just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to make a little protective layer on this mitten by brushing on some triple thick. And when that dries and hardens, then I can go ahead and decorate it. Because if I try to do this now, decorate it now, um, everything will just kind of soak through the mitten and the glitter won't adhere. So you ha it's important to 
brush on a, a layer of this first and then just allow it to dry thoroughly. Okay. It will soak into the mitten, but that's fine because it'll form a layer. So once you do that, then just allow this to dry um, for several hours, and then we'll be back. Okay, so this has dried, and if you want, you can do a layer on the back and allow that to dry as well, just to kind of finish it off. You don't have to, but that's optional, because we're only going to decorate one side of this mitten. Okay, so you're going to need your triple thick. Let me open this up. I'm going to place a little bit of the triple thick into this cup with my makeup brush that I bought from the Dollar Tree. Okay, about maybe like that or so, well, maybe a little more. We're going to put a thicker um, coat on this now and it will harden the glove up even even more. Okay. So now we can put this on without being concerned it's going to soak through. But I'm only going to put this on uh, from about this point down. You won't need to do it here. Okay, so as you can see I'm putting a fairly thick amount on there. And the reason why I want it a little thicker is because I'm going to be using um, clear 70 grit glass glitter. And so I want this to be able to grab onto the glitter. And that's not the only thing I'm using. And I'll show you in just a moment. And I did... Oh, I'm just having a time with this brush trying to get it to stand up in this cup. Put it against here, maybe it'll... There we go. And this 70 grit German glass glitter is from a wonderful seller on eBay and she has a store called Sugar Camp Cottage but her eBay username is Reed Reed but if you just type in the words um, real German glass glitter and put 70 grit it'll pop up for you now make sure you get the 70 grit clear she does have a pearl one too but the clear is what I'm using and I'll put that information for you on my blog. Okay, I can't place it on um, that information anymore on uh, this YouTube channel because of YouTube's policies. Okay, so you can see that I'm sprinkling a little bit here and there. I'm not using a lot, just a little bit. And I'm just going to take this wooden popsicle stick just kind of flatten it a little. I'm not pushing into the um, into the triple thick. I'm just tapping the top part. Okay, so now I'm going to be using extra fine glitter in glitz. This is by Recollections, and all that is is an ultra fine iridescent glitter. So if you pick up any white ultra fine iridescent glitter, it'll work. It'll be fine. And I'm just going to sprinkle this on all over. Okay. Come in again with a. Just barely tap it. I'm not pushing into it, I'm just barely tapping it. I just don't want the shards of glass to be sticking up. And this will do it if you do it this way. Okay? It'll be fine. And I'm just going to tap around the edges 
to make sure all the little fuzzies are not sticking out. There we go. It's looking good. Alright. Alright, so I'm from this point on I'm just gonna I'm not going to shake it. I'm just gonna tip it over once and see it shows me that the um triple thick is grabbing onto the glitter pretty well because when I tip it over like that nothing is in the palm of my hands. Now I do have glittery fingers but that's from working with this. Alright, so now you're going to allow this to sit for 24 hours. It depends on where you live, if it's humid or if it's dry. Um, a lot of times you'll think it's hard and dry but if you allow it to sit a day or two later you'll realize that it's become even um, tougher. So, um, you know, it, the drying time is important here, is what I'm, is the point I'm trying to make. So I'm going to allow this to dry for 24 hours, and then we'll be back, and we'll put the fur on this part, and um, we'll decorate the rest. So as you can see, this has completely dried, and it's nice and tough. And it's smooth because the glass shards are lying flat. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this microfiber cloth in white. And I bought this from the Dollar Tree. It's hanging up in the section where the hardware is, the hardware stuff is, and the um, all the other uh, things for your car. And um, I did use this last year in some of my tutorials, so I'm just going to cut off a little piece right here in the corner. Just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this glove uh, facing downwards. It's just easier for me to line things up that way. I'm going to put some hot glue here and then place this right here. But before I do that, I'm going to take my long blade scissors and I'm going to try to cut a line as even as possible. Because I want it to look even when I go to glue this on like that, okay? So use some of this and I'm using the Gorilla Glue hot glue sticks. And I'm going to place this right here. Press it down. And I'm going to allow that to dry. And after it dries, I'm going to turn this over, and with my detail scissors here, I'm going to go all the way around like that. But I want to make sure the hot glue is dry, because I don't want to gum up my scissors by accident with um, hot glue. Let me blow on it in a minute. Okay, so I'm just going to come in here, and you're going to need your precision scissors for this because you have to get around the corners here. And I'm just cutting around slowly, like this. No need to rush this. fuzzies like that. Alright, so this is what we have so far. So the next thing I'm going to do is take a row of self-adhesive rhinestones and I'm going to place it directly below the cuff here. 
And you can use your Dollar Tree rhinestones if you want. I'm thinking that maybe five rhinestones will do. Now I do want these to stay in place. So I'm going to put a very, very fine line of hot glue. You don't need a lot. These have adhesive on them, but I just want to make sure that they stay. And I'm going to try to push these together so there isn't any gap in between the rhinestones. There we go. Yeah, so that's what I have. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of this pearl trim. You can find this by the roll at Walmart, especially during the holidays. I mean, they have it all year, but during the holidays it seems to come out um, a lot more often in different places, such as, you know, the craft stores and whatnot, too. And this is three millimeter, okay? And you don't have to do this part. If you wanted to, you could take a gold leafing pin or a silver leafing pin and go around the edge here. You can do anything you'd like. You can just leave it if you want. But I think what I'm going to do is take my Sherbonder Detail Hot Glue Gun and maybe start here and go all the way, all the way <laughs> around the edge of the mitten here. So I'm going to attempt to do that anyway. I'm just going to put a little line, not all the way around, so I want to do this little at a time to try to avoid any mistakes. Okay. And then I'm just putting the tiniest amount right at the very edge. It doesn't need a lot. And then I'm just going to kind of hold it before I go any further. Because you want to give the hot glue a little bit of a chance to harden up around the sides. Right here. seconds for that to grab on. It doesn't take very long to dry the hot glue because you use so little but you still want to give it a moment or so. And then I'm going to go up to here. seconds. Okay. And I'm going to try to see about where I'm going to end up. Probably I stretch this out maybe about here. So I'm going to cut it right here. And if I need to cut off one more little pearl then I will. So we have this so far. I think it turned out pretty good. And so now I'm going to show you what I'm going to 
place right here in the middle. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, fun foam or craft foam glitter sheet and if you are going to use a glitter sheet then I would definitely buy the thin type. Don't get the real thick type that they have in some of the craft stores. I purchased this particular piece a while back and I think it was Hobby Lobby. So I'm using a Martha Stewart Snowflake Punch and um, she came out with several of these punches a few years back and I'm just punching it out like that and you might have to kind of push down the middle a little bit so you can grab one of the snowflake stems to gently pull it out just like that okay and I'm just going to take my hot glue and put a little bit of glue in the back there and place this right in the center of the mitten and I'm going to take a little um, flat back self-adhesive rhinestone. These rhinestones, I bought a, a large sheet of them at uh, Walmart. These are 9 millimeter. Okay. And I'm just going to put a little dot of hot glue there and place this right in the center like that. Okay. So the last thing that I'm going to do is take some of this um, this cord here and I'm just going to cut a little piece off. Well, first of all, I'm going to see about how much I would like. I'm going to put it right here in the corner. So I, actually, I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to cut that off here. And I want this to hang, like I said, you know, to the side like that. So even these cords up right here like that. I'm going to hold it like that. Then I'm going to place some hot glue right here. And then place this down like so on the hot glue. Okay. And then turn it over. Adjust it a little to where you like it. Not like that. Now I'm going to take another one of those 9mm rhinestones that I used on the front, place some hot glue on that, and then I'm just going to cover the tips of this with the rhinestone just to make it look nice. I'll hold it down there for a minute. Okay. Get all the little stringies out of there. All right. And then, there you go, just like that. And like I said, you can use these for many things, and I like the fact that it's so very thin that you can actually slip this into a Christmas card if you wanted to. So I hope you really enjoyed this video, and that you do try to make your own. And God bless each and every one of you, and have a Merry Christmas.